You're watching Action News Now. Storm Tracker weather coverage you can count on. And there's a live look at Mount Shasta from the northeast. You can see some clouds there, but not completely clouded over skies there. Chief Meteorologist Jason Stiff joins us now. That other shot you showed us a few minutes ago was just always a beautiful look at Mount Shasta, Jason. Yeah, very pretty. Now to the west of Mount Shasta and moving toward the east, we have a lot more high clouds that are moving our direction. A different view from a different part of our state. This is from our Beckworth camera. This is south of Lake Davis looking south. So you have the setting sun on the right side of your screen, but also a few cirrus clouds here and there. We're definitely going to have more more by tomorrow morning. It's going to keep a lot of places fog free, but some of our snow covered ground in particular where we have a little bit of clearing we will have a chance for some patchy fog, not only tomorrow morning, but the next several mornings going forward. Now today's highs were still above average. We had a high of 66 degrees in Redding, still nine degrees warmer than average, but we're already down to 57 with a few high clouds in the air. 55 degrees in Chico. It's 36 degrees in Chester, 42 degrees in Burning and still a mild 50 degrees in Weaverville, but you'll notice with the those clouds that we had today, it suppressed our temperatures just a little bit. Most places between one and five degrees cooler than 24 hours ago, but again, still warmer than average. So if we can't have that rain and snow that we need, we'll take this quiet weather with the above average temperatures. So here we go. Here's another line of clouds that are moving into Trinity County, Western Siskiyou County, far Western Shasta and Tehama County too. Those clouds combined with others will keep us a little bit milder tomorrow morning than average, but also give us that opportunity to be a little bit more fog free tomorrow morning. So a mostly cloudy beginning to Wednesday. We'll have a mixture of clouds and a little bit of sunshine tomorrow afternoon. There is another storm that I've been tracking since last week. It wants to move our way and it looks so promising. Look at this. Future cast 8 o'clock Thursday morning looks like it's going to give us a chance for rain, but unfortunately you'll notice it just kind of whittles away. So we're going to have gradually decreasing clouds on Thursday. And then by the time we get to Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, we're going to have a combination. We're going to have a ridge of high pressure over Northern California, an area of low pressure over Southern California. At times, some of those high clouds will start to filter northward toward us, but they won't be rain or snow bearing clouds. Just give us a nice mixture of clouds of beautiful sunrises and sunsets going forward. And the temperatures are still going to be at least a few degrees warmer than average. So if you want to do some outdoor exercise. We're going to have some really nice weather for that too. A little bit cool in the morning, so make sure you bring that extra layer. However, if you start in the late morning and you go through the afternoon, you won't need that extra layer at all. It's going to be warmer than average for this time of year, so just get outside and enjoy it while you can. Here's your forecast for Wednesday. Expending lows in the northern mountains, mainly in the 30s. Highs still above average from 53 degrees in Wairika, 57 degrees in Hayfork and Weaverville. For northeastern California, a little bit chillier in the morning with most lows in the 20s, but the highs won't be bad for this time of year. It could be tens and tens of degrees cooler than this. Upper 40s and lower 50s Wednesday afternoon. For the ridge, we'll also have clouds tonight. We'll have overnight lows mostly in the 40s. Slightly cooler in Butte Meadows, but the highs will be nice and comfortable in the 50s. For the valley tonight, we'll have lows in the upper 30s and lower 40s. Just enough cloud cover to keep us fog free. Patchy fog still possible though. And then for tomorrow afternoon, partly to mostly cloudy sky, lower 60s for highs, about five degrees warmer than average. And for Butte and Glen counties, lows tonight in the upper 30s and lower 40s. Highs tomorrow will still be nice this time of year. Upper 50s and lower 60s with a partly to mostly cloudy sky. We expect fewer and fewer clouds this coming weekend and warmer temperatures too. Highs both in Chico and in Redding from the upper 50s to the mid-60s, topping out in Redding at 65 degrees on Saturday.